What's up, everybody? On today's episode of the Hashtag Blackout Podcast, we talk about the ultimate snitch, Takashi K9. All that and more on today's episode of the Hashtag Blackout Podcast. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> What's up, what's up, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 134, Cien Quarenta, I think, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter, it's 140, 140. everybody speaks English. (laughs) That's what it is, 140, yes indeed, episode of the Hashtag Blackout Podcast, I'm Jared. (laughs) What up, I'm Jay people. Yeah, and we are back and at it again. (laughs) Jay, how was your week, man? How's it going? Mm, it was cool. It wasn't bad. It was a. Uh, it's nice over here. It's like seventy something degrees, mm. mid upper seventies, low eighties. Trying to rub it in, aren't you? Ah, man, <laughs> man, it's it's good. But some days, man, it's like cold. It's like in the forties and stuff. Yeah. So you know, I, I don't like that. Yeah. But you know. When you get up there and like, yeah, then it's real nice. Get to walk outside for like my lunchtime and stuff like that. that so, sounds good. Yeah, it's all good. It's all that sounds good, really pretty and nice. I wish it was like that here. Yeah. Um, no rain, just all yeah, sunshine. Yeah, it started raining today. It's the, you know, the chilly weather has been coming through over the past couple of days. Uh, it was, you know, it, it had climbed back up to like the 60s and 70s. And now it's, uh, you know, back down in the 40s. Rainy, overcast, ugly looking, but hey, man, I'm nice and warm inside. Got me a nice cold beverage, you know, um, doing good. So, yeah, man, uh, happy to get this thing going again. So, yeah, so uh, let's let's just start this off by this. I, I, I mentioned in the open, we're going to talk about the ultimate snitch, which I call Takashi K9. It's my dog. My dog, right. af- affectionately known and named as Jeter. Yes, like Derek Jeter, the baseball player. My wife uh, named him that, so I would like him because I was not a big fan of dogs when I was a kid. So, just put that out there. So, yeah, but this guy, he is a Yorkie Poodle combination. He's like all of, I don't know, five pounds maybe when he's soaking wet. And he is at this point, let's see here. It's 2019. We got him in 2013, or sorry, no, 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 2006. So he is a little over 13, going on 14 years old now, right? Dang. Losing teeth, you know, he's getting old. He can't hear as well. His oh. his senses aren't, you know, his senses aren't up to par. Like he doesn't always know that you're right next to him, you know, or moving around him when mm-hmm. ever you're trying to walk by. So you know, every now and then he gets a little roughed up, but he's all right. He bounces back. Um, this fool though, I call him that affectionately, by the way, he always barks every time you walk to the door, the front door, the side door, the back door, whatever it is, when you're about to try to leave, or go somewhere, somebody, somebody comes to the door, he'll bark a lot of times, but yeah, every time you walk toward a door, he barks. So you can never go anywhere quietly, right? The only time you go somewhere quietly, I think, actually, is early in the morning. Um, Early in the morning when, uh, you know, when you're going to work out. If you go to work out at, like, 5 in the morning, yeah, he doesn't bark then because, you know, he's still napping in his bed. Other than that, though, other than that, all he does is bark. So you can't, like, sneak out the house to go do something if you want to get a surprise or something like that. Like nothing. Mm-hmm. Always barking. I don't like it. I call him the ultimate snitch. <laughs> Always telling fools what you're doing. Other thing he does. Oh, the other, oh yeah. So the other thing he does is he tells on people who haven't fed him. Right. So our kids are our kids have you know have their own uh, feeding time frames for him. Our, our son feeds him in the morning. Daughter feeds him at dinner time. Right. right? So he will bark right. at them. He will go outside, use the restroom, come back in. And if he looks in there's bowl and there's no food in there, he will run to their room barking at them. And that's how we know that nobody fed him because he's just barking. He'll jump on their bed and start barking at them. 
<laughs> like, so he really is old, man. He is, man. He's an old and crotchety old dog. You know what I'm saying? He's crazy. He is He's losing grumpy old it. man. Got to get his food. Get a little C now. <laughs> in, the, in the nursing home, just crying out to the nurses. You know, out there, you know, the stupid shooting stuff. some Johnson baby powder all over the place, you know? Mm-hmm. Actually, no. Oh, wait. He can't do that. No, he got him right. He got fixed. No more baby powder for you. No poof poof. Nope. <laughs> nope. Mine got fixed too, and shoot, he still be trying to go at the pillows. Yeah, yeah. you're just, see, you're, just humping away. Yeah, your dog is still young. You know, your dog is still yeah. young and virile, and he doesn't. He hadn't got over that uh, that want or need to try to do that. So, my dog is over it. Now. True. He done. True. True, true, true. Very true, yeah, man. So, whatever, man. But yeah, to call him Takashi K9 because he always be snitching on everybody. Everybody, mm-hmm. everything. Know. You could probably get him to Takashi 6 9 when he gets out. Mm hmm. He'll be best yeah, buds. Yeah, he'll be best buds. Be like, oh, you Takashi yeah, K9? Yeah. Got something in common. Dyes, he both dyes hair rainbow. <laughs> That would be pretty funny. You know? I'm sure your kids would like to. Give them a little rainbow grill. Oh, yeah, yeah. My kids would love to dye his hair different colors, but I didn't have them. So, whatever. Uh, anyway, man, so, yeah. That's crazy. On to the fun of the day. So, what's up? I know you got a lot of topics. I know it's been a minute since we actually got together yeah. and did this thing. So Yeah. Yeah. What you want to talk about? <clears throat> and like I say, man, it, this is just a bunch of things I, I noticed this week and I just had to jot them down just so we could discuss yeah so every Tuesday I go in to get like allergy shots and stuff like that trying to trying to cure all this nonsense that's going on with my my allergies and mm-hmm. everything I'm allergic to yeah so I'm in the office and I'm just chilling and I noticed this lady you know come in with her son mm-hmm. and I wasn't really paying attention until they called the kid's name out to go in the back. Mm-hmm. And it just got me. His name was Master. Hold on. Like Master Chief? Like like Master like P? Like Master, yeah. Yeah, Master. Uh... And I'm thinking like, nah, man. I hope he don't have no little black friends. Because <laughs> every time, like, I mean, from that point on, I just start thinking about all the little scenarios in my head. Yeah. With his name, Master, and if yet, it's like <laughs> I, I, I refuse to call mm, a white person, let alone a little white kid. Master, is the kid white? Yeah. Oh no! Come on, G. So I I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why did they name this kid that? Mm-hmm. Why would you name your kid, man? I mean, of course, hey, you want to master everything. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. Cute little name. But uh, I don't know, man. Maybe they didn't think it too far ahead or maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. And, no, I, I don't think they, I don't think they, I don't think they thought, I don't think they thought about it. You know what I'm saying? And may, But maybe they mm-hmm. did. Maybe there's some uh, racist in efforts. <laughs> maybe they're like, we're going to make everybody it's, call it's our child possible. master. I mean, you know. She did have like resting bitch face on her. Did she? You know, yeah. just Never looking done. at, them. yeah, resting bitch face. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. So master. that that just kind of threw me for a loop that day. Master, I would never think about naming my kids master. Yeah, but whatever, man. No, nah, whatever. I, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I will say this. I will say this. Um, I mean, as as African American people, people of African descent, um, yeah, we do have some crazy. Names. You know, especially especially our family hailing from Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi. You know that whole South region. Yeah, man, they got some crazy mm-hmm. names, and I think down there they even made it even crazier. So you know, Laquante, Cinderios, um Who? Wait, who? What? C- Cinderius. Cinderius. You hear me? Who? I hear you. Sin- who, who's in Darius? There, there's actually, there's actually a, uh, there's a football player who plays for the University of Oklahoma. He is a wide receiver. People call him CD, right? CD Lamb, but uh, but his actual name 
is uh, Cinderius. Okay. It's. Right. I mean, well, it, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, not even going to go. Cool. I mean, there's there's just some bad. So, wow. In 2006, ABC News. Uh, I guess uh, no, 2020. Um, 2020 on on ABC did a uh, story and a study about the whitest and blackest names, right? <laughs> so the whitest white girl names, I'll just name a few. And you can tell me if this... <laughs> let me see, that may be in here. Uh, is it? Oh, no, that wasn't in there. Um, this is 2006, so maybe, you know, maybe uh, Becky with the good hair wasn't uh, quite around yet. But Molly... Darlene. Molly. Okay, Amy, that's pretty white. Uh, Amy, let's see here. Emily... Um, Caitlin, Carly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know. I know a black Carly. Yeah. Holly. Allison. Yeah. That's, that's Hannah. Yeah. Hannah. That's some of the whitest white girl names, I guess. Yeah. Um. So the the black girl names, right? The, the 20, 20 black girl names. So I'm not gonna name them all, but Imani, Ebony, mm. Precious. Mm. Oh, I knew some Aaliyah, precious. Uh, Deja Diamond. Yep. That's one of them. I guess they had two different spellings of Aaliyah. Uh, Jada, Tierra, Kiera. There are four different ways to spell Jasmine, apparently. Um, <laughs> J A Z, J A S. Yes. Alexis Raven. Those mm. are some of the blackest black girl names. I didn't say Nia or Shanice. Uh, okay, so the whitest white boy names that they had from back then. Jake. Bryce. Connor. Tanner. <laughs> Wyatt. Tanner. There you go. Dustin. Luke. Logan. Cole. Bradley. Jacob. Garrett. Maxwell. Hunter. Brett. Colin. Mm. Right? So those are some of the whitest white boy names. And the black boy names. Here we go. Deshaun, DeAndre, oh, Lord. Darnell, Marquise, Terrell, Malik, Tyrone, Dominique, Demetrius, Jamal, Willie, Maurice, <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Xavier, Terrence, Daryl, Jalen. <laughs> Willie threw me off. <laughs> Sound like an old man. Really got me. Old man and fixed cars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he does, man. He oh really does. my god. So funny. Wow. So yeah, man. There, there you go. Ain't there that something? Okay. Well, the whitest uh, white boy and white girl, black girl, black boy names. So yeah. So wow. I don't see master in there, but maybe that's a new thing. <laughs> maybe it's a new thing. Uh, yeah. That's a, wow, interesting. Or it's an old thing that should have died, like I don't know, a couple hundred years ago. Just me. Yeah, yeah, should have died. I still refuse to call somebody master. Yeah. Wow. Dang, what if he becomes a boss of a big company wow. and only employ, employs like black people? Dang, let's check him. That'd be messed up, wouldn't it? Be like that. That'd be very messed up. Last name is Jacobson. Master Jacobson. Ma- <laughs> Master Jacobson. Uh, Master Jacobson. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, Master Jacobson, um, <laughs> here's the TPS report. What's suggested. your boss name? <laughs> What's your boss name? Master Jacobson. Oh. Uh, who, own, who owns that company that you work for? Uh, Master Jacobson. Oh, man. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. Well, uh, what can you do, right. man? Well, what can you do? That's that. That is that is no. probably. I mean, now mind you guys, we don't know exactly the cause and the reasoning for naming this kid master. But, mm-hmm. but I will say that that is the most racist name I've ever heard of. Barna. Yeah. When it's a white person. Wow. I mean, if it okay, if it's a black person, it's like why'd you name your kid that? 
oh well it's a black person they always name their kids crazy name right if it's a Mexican person <laughs> you know it's like eh, nah I, I I mean it's it's not really normal right if it's an Asian purple person right. really abnormal right but if it's a white person that's racist <laughs> it's racist I mean, what can you say yeah. <laughs> maybe I don't know yeah I don't know Hmm. Yeah, too bad you didn't have time to get into the origin of that name with the crazy looking mom. No, I was just sitting there, just thinking about it. I'm like, the hell? <laughs> Got to talk that, about that's it. That's racist. All right. All anyway, right, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Oh, well, shoot. from one kid on to the next, man. So, got to talk about my. I guess ask a question regarding my my little my little guy. You know. Uh, he had a question for me uh, I guess about a couple weeks ago and I didn't know how to answer him. Okay. I mean I knew I knew the answer, but I didn't know how to answer him. Oh, okay. So he said, Dad, why does my my ting ting get big and hard? Mm, you got the question finally. Alright. I, I did not know how to answer that. I knew I kinda knew what the answer was, but Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know how to answer, so I was going to ask you, how did you answer that if, when your kid asked you that? Because your kid is 12. Uh, 11, he's 11 12 now. now, yeah. And, you know, we, we had the we had the talk at one point in time, so. Yeah, yeah. We had the birds and the bees talk, so they, they yeah. know. Like, they're still in that innocent stage, so they think sex is just kissing. Yeah. But which, which is what it is, children. Told them about the, There's any children out we've there? Told that's them all about the the little tadpoles and all that other stuff <laughs> that you know, yeah, kind of you know swim upstream and yeah, fertilize eggs. So in the in the lady. So, wow. but he asked me that, and I just was kind of stunned. I didn't know how to answer it. So, Wait, how did you answer that? Uh, you know, how did I answer that? Um. Well, I, I, my kid, my kid hadn't asked me that question. He didn't ask me that question until I was having the birds and the bees talk with him, right? Uh, mm. Then you know he, he asked me the question and and uh, he's like, "Is that why my thingy gets hard?" And I was like, "Yes." So, so you know, I, I was just I basically just told him, "Hey, you know, uh, sometimes uh, you know you get uh, uh, excited." And, you know, about certain things, you know, it could be a pretty girl that you saw or it could be, you know, it could just be anything or it could be just like you wake up in the morning like that. Um, it happens or you could accidentally brush it with your hand, you know, just or, or you know, like be washing yourself in the shower like it could happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it happens. Right. So I told that's what I told him. I was just like, you know, it's just it's just one of those things. Um, you just, you know, just get a little excited. So he was like, OK. And that was it. <laughs> that was and that was that was what like maybe two years ago, three years ago, something like that. So mm-hmm. now, uh, you know, now he's he's um, I don't know. Now he's sort of matured a little more, and there's more and more kids who talk and say random things um, at school now. So you know, he's right, learned right. learned a little bit of street knowledge of what that means. You know. Okay. But so. He's at that. He's at that age now. That's about to go into my next question. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the Netflix show Big Mouth? Uh, yeah, I seen. It. Yeah. Like all, like all the seasons so far, or just like a few episodes here and there. Uh, I just seen a few episodes. I haven't seen all the seasons. No. Man, man, you gotta check that out. If you thought like South Park had like some crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. This show here is wild, yeah. and they're they're pretty much right at that age where your your son is kind of at maybe a, like slightly older, you know. And of course, when I first seen that, uh, I don't know when the first episode, first season came out was that last year, or early this year, maybe mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, but it made me feel so uncomfortable, really, and not ready for when my kids get that age. Wow. Because uh, I mean, we of course we've already been that age. Mm-hmm. We we've dealt with it, but we didn't think about it the way a parent thinks about it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you know, when they start to get like 
hormones, the little hormone monster. And uh, shout out to uh, 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 John Effect podcast because I think he <laughs> he um, he talked about it like a little bit on one of his last episodes mm-hmm. uh, about season three. And I completely forgot season three was even out, and I already started. I'm like maybe four or five episodes in, but yeah, it's wild, dude. And <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable watching that sometimes, wow. especially when they got to the point where the little girls were, uh, the young girls were starting to grow breasts yeah. <laughs> and they're running across the soccer field and they're just bouncing yeah. and stuff. And the kids were like, wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so and funny. it kind of takes me back to that age yeah. whenever I started to notice that. But then I start feeling creepy because it's like, I'm thinking in my mind as a 30 some year old man thinking about, junior high boobs definitely creepy and how I felt does that make me does that make me creepy about thinking about that not thinking about the boobs but thinking about me looking at the boobs is that bad I mean no it's not just because at this point that is not what you are truly interested in you know what I'm saying like you're just you're just thinking about a time in your life you know, you're just thinking about a time in your life where that's what you that's what you do. I mean, because every now and then, you know, like I'll think about I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember when I was younger and uh, I remember when I was younger and um, and what is it? Uh, uh, you know, X, Y, Z was like the prettiest girl in school or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not what you're interested in now. That just you're just no, thinking about a time not. in life. I like growing up lady bodies. Yes, yeah. yes. But, so, but yeah, I I, am, I encourage you to watch that show. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's funny. It's okay. funny. It's definitely funny. Right. Sorry, I saw a moth flying across my screen, so I'm trying to spot it out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta check that out. That's funny. Yeah, nah, I will definitely check it out. Um, yeah, I. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I remember those times, but yeah, this is funny because like right now, my son, um, he like you said, he's 11 and and you know he's starting to say that he has like a little girlfriend at school, his little girl from last year to this year, you know, has been his little girlfriend, and so whatever. But I mean, I, I don't think anything's ever happened. They just like call each other boyfriend girlfriend type of thing, right? It's, it's silly. Yeah. He's in sixth grade now, though. No kissing. He's in sixth grade now, though, so I don't know what's really going down. Uh, you know, when they're at school and stuff like that. So, so the, uh, what is it? Um, beginning of this school year, apparently there's a new girl at school, mm-hmm. new girl at school, you know, in his class. And apparently she likes him. Like, so some other little girl gave him a note or it was no, didn't give him a note, but said such and such was writing a note, you know, that she liked you, but I'm not supposed to tell you that. But don't say anything because I'll be in trouble if I do. That's what the little girl said. So, so I don't know. At some point in time, I think, I think uh, it came up when they were all in a group, and my son was like, "But I'm a one woman man. I just like this girl, <laughs> not that girl." I was like, I, I was, I was like, "Well, good. That's that's the way to be. Number one, you know. But number two, um." Number two, how is it that you have, like, all these little girls, like, chasing after you right now, you know? Like, you don't need to worry about that. You got your whole life ahead of you. Don't waste your time on girls right now. You are 11. You're 11. Ain't, got, ain't nobody got no time for that. Yeah, man. They, they you, you know how it's done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we went through it. Mm-hmm. They gonna go through yeah. it. It's gonna be like little puppy love and all that other stuff. They come and they go whatever yeah. man but I wow and, yeah I, I already know my two they've already talking about he's like oh he has two girlfriends or he has one girlfriend hmm. and even ever since my youngest was like in uh, kindergarten not kindergarten what was it mm-hmm. pre-k and like daycare he's like a big flirt man yeah yeah. he, he flirts with with everybody I mean, all the women if anybody who's listening yeah, right man. now is listening to the show for a little bit they would know that he calls himself, or he used to call himself, Chocolate Body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the crazy thing body. is, man, I'll, I'll, I'm not waiting for that that time when he gets to the point where he starts to, you know, uh, 
<laughs> Let loose. <Yeah. laughs> Just get in touch with himself, him and his hand, and you know. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Uh, I'm not waiting for that because here's the thing. I check, I go right before I go to bed, I go and check on my kids every mm-hmm. night, you know, make sure they're in good, they're breathing good, all that other stuff. I can't tell you how many times I checked on him. He falls asleep, yeah. hand in his pants, holding on to his stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah, you know? so, so he definitely knows about it. Uh, yeah. There's one time. Like my wife and I, we were just chilling in our bedroom. And the kids were like in the back room watching TV or something. Yeah. And I could just hear my youngest go in. He like walks in the back room and he's like, "You looking at naked girls without me?" Wait, who said that? Uh, the youngest. To your oldest son? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh no! <It's> not yet. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think that he was looking at naked girls, but that just caught us both by surprise. We just looked at each other and started started laughing because it was funny, for one. Mm-hmm. But then, of course, my wife's like, "You better go talk to him." Yeah, you better start talking to him right now. So yeah, I don't know. I I, I, I wonder how many other dads out there, dads out there, if you're listening, dads of boys, how do you go about explaining these things? Yeah. Man, yeah, I, I definitely want to hear from other other uh, dads of sons, dads of boys, and also I want to hear from the people who are not fathers yet to hear what their what their take on it would be. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, like what they think that they would say to somebody who's not a dad. So, How would you answer that question? Yeah. Why does my tang tang get big and hard? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's so funny, man. There's there's lots of Lots of answers there. So, but you know, I will tell you this, which yeah. has been, uh, you know, sort of interesting. Is my son has my son has um, sometimes like he'll come home and say, "Hey, I'm going to hang out with such and such friend." So, you know, there's been a few times where he's like, "I'm going to hang out with this girl, that girl, that girl, and like, you know, my other friend, this guy." You know, like we're gonna go over to such and such park, like right by the house. So I just be like, Smell. I just be like, I know exactly what is happening. I know mm-hmm. what's happening. I don't want to hear about it yet. And I told him, I, mean, I told him this a while back. I was like, just keep your stuff in your pants. Just do it. Just wait. There ain't, ain't no reason to, to mess around. Man. But that that's not happening. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sure I'm sure that he's kissed somebody. He just hasn't Bro. told us yet. So I'm not even gonna mention what I was doing at nine years old. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah 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 but uh yeah so wow. that's a fun conversation there you go that, yes. that's a interesting yeah definitely interesting conversation I want to hear everybody's take on it fathers to be fathers already non-fathers whatever let us know what your answer would be even the mothers how are the mothers to little boys answer that or maybe the mothers to daughters mm-hmm. yeah how what would a daughter what would a daughter question a daughter's be? question a daughter's question would be something like would be something like um uh, what would a daughter's question be daughter's question would be something like um like uh why does my why does my you know my vagina hurt or something like that you know what I'm saying my vajayjay hurt like that's something that that daughter would say or like why is it why is it itchy or something I think that's what they would say I can't remember I don't always get thankfully I don't have to field those questions my wife gets to take care of that most of the time Um, and if I do if my daughter does ask me a question I'm like like that I'm like "Uh, I think you need to talk to your mom (laughs) you know if she's not around I'm like we'll give her a phone call real quick (laughs) you know what I'm saying so yeah, wow. I have several different. Just totally avoid that question. <laughs> email related situations that I don't even want to get into right now. So we'll just leave it at that. We'll leave wow. it at that. But um, it's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah. So what's next? <laughs> what's next? 
<laughs> Get a little too uncomfortable. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I just wrote down a whole bunch of different things. Did you? Uh, let me think. I, I do. I Did do you? have some that just. I'm sorry. Go ahead. My bad. Go. 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 No, well, I was just gonna say. Did you see that Zoe Kravitz was cast as the new cat woman in the new Batman? No, I didn't. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, she's cast as new Bat, the uh, Catwoman, and then of course I'm the type of person I just go straight to the comments because I want to see what people. Oh say. yeah, that's the best part. And you are you already yeah you already know what they're saying about it. Why? Because like, she's because she's black. Yeah, but of course they, that's that's the main that's the main thing. But then of course you know you got those people that's like. That don't remember like Earth the Kid. Yeah. Uh, and um, I don't they know. They don't remember the horrible Halle Berry. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Reenactment. The most beautiful Batwoman ever, but, Halle Berry. I didn't say she did a beautiful do- job. I just said she's the most beautiful Batman, Batwoman. She, she was, yeah, she was all right. I, I don't know, for some odd reason, I thought Michelle Pfeiffer was dope. Yeah, she was. In that super tight cat suit. Yeah, she but, was. That's just me. That's true. She was too. I mean, hey, all of them were great. I, I, yeah, all of them were great. Great. Um, I remember those days when I was much younger, seeing all of them as Batwoman. See, this is one of those times you're going back to remember a childhood memory. Anyway, so yeah, and you know, if you look at Zoe Kravitz, she sort of, you know, in some of her pictures, she sort of has like those, you know, those cat-like eyes, whatever you want to call it. I think she'll be able yeah. to pull it off. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Know. They're not gonna. I don't think they're gonna screw up this. This is like a whole new Batman DC reboot. Yeah. Speaking of yeah. reboots, <laughs> I didn't even think this was a uh, gonna like go that way. But what do you feel about reboots in like extended universes type movies, cinema reboots and cinema? Only add, yeah. How do you, how do you feel about? It? I only ask that because I saw like they're thinking about doing the the New Jack City reboot mm-hmm. and a Training Day, uh, I guess prequel. Man, so I, just tr- trying to see what you feel. New Jack City was a classic that should not be rebooted. Training Day was also a classic. Right. Um, I don't think it needs to. I don't think we need a prequel. I guess maybe it's going to be the story of Denzel before he became what he was. And also yeah. the other yeah. other officer. I don't know his name. Anyway, I, I don't know, man. I'm I'm a fan of some of them. Some of them I'm not. You know, uh, if they're totally rebooting, restarting the series, uh, you know, that's, that's one thing. Especially if the movie was like a marginal, at best, you know, yeah. type of there film. You go. Um, yeah. I think there's some that should just be left alone and should just... Like if if there's some that are classics, you know there should be there should be no reason that they should bring it back and, and try to do it again. Um, there's some that that need a continuation story, sort of like Rambo did with Creed, or not Rambo, but um, Rocky did with Creed. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like a continuation. Mm-hmm. That's sort of okay. Right. It's sort of in the same universe. You're you still have that same you know Rocky character that's built into it, but. You basically take out almost everybody else from from the film and sort of start again in a different path. That's all right, but yeah, man, I, I don't know. There, sometimes I'm just sort of done with it. Like, like if they said they were going to do another Watchmen, I'd be like, why? The first one was great, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, even though they're doing a series. Yeah, they are doing a series, which starts what, like, really soon, right? The next couple weeks, uh, like the next week or two. I think so, yeah. but of course, obviously, I don't have HBO, yeah. so. I have to find it somewhere. Same, yeah. So I don't know, man. What, what's your what's your thoughts on that? Uh, uh, the whole New Jack City thing, man. I would. I think we kind of talked a little bit about it last last episode. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I I don't want them to do it because that particular story took place in a crazy time in 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 America. I guess you could say in the whole drug uh, drug culture in America back then was like crack epidemic yeah. if you want to call it yeah crack whole crack epidemic way back in was that it take place in the late 80s I'm trying to remember when it was set yeah uh, something like that yeah but that whole time there I mean and I'm trying to think what would they do now 
everybody's getting like hopped up on pills and stuff with that yeah, be the, the pill the epidemic. Thing? Yeah, it's the pills. You know, the Xanax and all that stuff. Oh, that, would they the like thing. go back and reset it like in 1980, <laughs> which would be kind of stupid because then you really have to do your job and make it better than the original, which I doubt they'll be able to do. Yeah, that'd be hard for them to do. Yeah, no, man, it would have to be the pills and, I mean, marijuana, even though marijuana is legal in a lot of states now. Yeah. Um, I think that would yeah, those would have to be, like, the two main things because, like, I don't know, and meth, meth too, maybe. Uh, opioids, you know. Um, that, those are the addictions right now, so. Hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with some of them, like you said, if it... If it didn't do that well <clears throat> initially, marginal, yeah. I wouldn't be I, I wouldn't be uh, upset about a reboot. So I mean, even though they've like rebooted Batman like a million times and told practically the same story, almost the same story every time. Mm-hmm. I mean, we already know how Batman or Bruce Wayne's parents died. Yeah, exactly. I mean, how many times can you say that? mention that but yeah the training day one i'm actually i'm actually kind of curious how they do that because they said say that set around the uh the the rodney king beating mm-hmm. you know and the riot the riots in la and stuff like that so i'm curious to see how that could possibly uh work and how yeah. uh denzel's character actually turned bad or yeah. turned shady so i'm curious to see how that will work yeah. but yeah you know, um, it's an up and down thing. I, I'm for it and I'm not for it. So, yeah, yeah I thought that was just a. <clears throat> I mean, look at this. Cool little this is like, from the back I'll end, watch so. it. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably yeah. watch it, you know. Uh, and, and another thing is, I mean, there's been so many different Batman, Batman versus Joker, <laughs> you know, situations, uh, which I still haven't seen mm-hmm. that new movie, The Joker. I may go see it, uh, you know, this, this week. But, um, but yeah, I uh, th- there's been so many of those that you know that at this point we're like, uh, yeah, we'll go, we'll still go see it. It's Batman, it's the Joker. You know what I'm saying? So there's movies like that mm-hmm. that it's hard to not go see again. Um, when they when they do the live action reboots of, of animated ones, that's when it gets a little weird. You know what I'm saying? Because because like right. the Jungle Book. Was sort of good, right? Mm. I've heard yeah. that the Lion King was horrible. I never really liked the first Lion King That's animated what I heard. in the first place, so I'm, I'm not gonna go to see this. And my kids don't really care to go see it, so even better. Even though my daughter probably wants to see it because it has cute little animals. Um, right. But yeah, so did you see Aladdin? Uh, I did not. I didn't get to see that yet either. No. Yeah, we we saw it. I actually thought a lot of it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Will Smith didn't look as bad as like the pictures those initial like test shots that they that they showed yeah, yeah. actually it actually looked pretty cool it was a lot of great parts yeah see but, so you know then it kind of ended up a little, a little weird yeah. yeah i mean it's the, the i don't know the thing about a reboot if they're rebooting the same exact story same exact storyline you know what's gonna happen mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like you're going to watch aladdin you're going to watch the jungle book you're going to watch you know uh 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 Lion King is gonna have the yeah, same you know how it ends. Scar is <laughs> Scar is still gonna kill Mufasa. You know what I'm saying? Like Simba's still gonna be king and sing that song. They're still gonna lift him up on top of Pride of Rock. That's all gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like if they tried to redo Coming to America and did the, did the same thing, beat to beat, same lyrics or the same lines, everything like that, uh, that would that wouldn't be so good. But you already know what's gonna happen. But they're coming back with a new Coming to America. So, or I guess the number two, whatever you want to call it. So that's exciting. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, so I did see something to just pat, scroll by, like my news feed was. Um, so this company, so so just tell me, tell me if you would be mad that your company did this and then try to guess which company did this or would you be happy, I guess, if your company did this. Uh, and oh, then, boy. and then if the, oh no, say not your company, say another company, right? So there's this company that flew more than 100 of their employees to Hawaii. Oh lord! Because they were super. Sally Mae. Oh man, you, 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 you spoiled it. So yeah, Sally Mae. 
Silent May flew saw, more than 100 of their employees to Hawaii uh, in celebration of over $5 billion in sales. Yeah, $5 right. billion. You know what that means? $5 billion in money that they took from people getting, getting student loans and other loans. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. $5 billion. Yep. That was... Just reading it, and I was like, "Man, we gotta talk about that." I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I, it's just yeah. five billion, too. Oh. Yeah, but five, man, five billion though. With a B. <laughs> With the B. Yeah. So a hundred, a hundred of their employees there is probably their top salesman, right? Uh, let's see here. Um, five billion in loans to three hundred seventy-four thousand bars. Let's see here. Um, hmm. Flying out employees to a luxury vacation. Uh, oh yeah! By the way, the loan, the loan, the nation's known student loan debt is at 1.6 trillion. Um, so you know, there's a few other companies who are probably going to do that. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to see. Does seem the South may have thought about the potential backlash? Oh, say so this is a sales get together for all of our salespeople. So it's probably, yeah, there's probably some executives as well as, you know, a lot of their top, or I guess it sounds like all their salespeople. So, man, it only takes 100 people to to make $5 billion. I need to find 99 of my closest friends who know what they're doing in sales. Let's go. For real, right? <laughs> That's crazy. For real. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this is the thing. If it's my company, if I work for them, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. I get to go, you know, to Hawaii celebrate blah 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 you know but mm-hmm. I mean that is that is zero respect to all the people who are out here struggling to pay back some of them student loans I really think so I don't care what they think it's all a lot of shame yeah, man. yeah it is a shame it's crazy uh, but if you're on that flight though you're like yeah man I'm going to Hawaii so you don't care yeah not at all yeah all expenses paid yeah, that's something. It's so crazy. Don't. Yeah. Oh boy. Mm. Do you happen to see uh, Terrence Howard's interview? No, I didn't. I didn't see it, man. <laughs> what, how, what, what was his? What was the interview? Oh man, 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 man. I'm gonna have to send this to you. Uh, and I'm gonna. We will probably have to insert a little audio, audio bite of uh of what he was talking about, man. Really? Because he was on some other, some other, other stuff. Some real other stuff. In the house, Terrence Howard here. You made huge headlines when you said after you complete these 15 episodes of Empire, you got to walk away for a while or forever. For good. I'm, I'm. I mean, everyone keeps trying to tell me, don't say it's forever. But I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing when. I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that, you know, Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue, you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? That's a big remark. What what, what do you intend to, to do? Well, let me put it this way. All energy in the universe is expressed in motion. All motion is expressed in waves. All waves are curved. So where does the straight lines come from to make the platonic solids? There are no straight lines. So when I took the flower of life and opened it properly, I found a whole new wave conjugations that expose the in-between spaces. That's, it's the thing that holds us all together. I'm sharing that on on Tuesday when I receive my star, I'm going to be able to prove that gravity is only an effect and not a force. I'm putting something on YouTube where I will build the planet Saturn without gravity and build the Milky Way galaxy without gravity. Did you also say you're getting your star on Yeah. On the Walk of Fame? On the Walk of Fame, which is interesting. How am I getting a star when I've never, for TV, when I've never received an Emmy nomination for TV? You're a presenter tonight. You can do whatever you want when you stand in front of that microphone. What are you going to do? I have no idea. I'm just I'm just being honest and looking at it. You know, I would think an Emmy nomination would come first. 
I am lost about what I just heard. <laughs> Terrence Howard. He got to conjugate, you know about them conjugate the plutonic flower of life property. When I, when I properly <laughs> opened the stamen of the flower, I saw a new Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> what? Did he just discover sex? Like, what, what the heck just happened? <laughs> what happened? Terrence. We, we thought you would... Oh, Terrence Howard. So, is he a Scientologist? Is that mm. what he's talking about? I don't know, dog. Nobody knows. I am um, sure. Mm, I, I'm gonna have to do some deep diving to see what, uh... Did he have, like, a a brain fart on the the red carpet and stuff just starts spewing out? I don't <gasps> maybe he was acting. Maybe he was acting. You know, maybe he was. Maybe he was. Maybe he came up with a. You know, maybe he came up with a character, a little bit of a backstory, and had a couple of monologues that he re- he, re- he memorized for it. Yeah. And it was like when they asked me this question about me possibly leaving, I'm gonna say this, and it's just gonna be silly, and the only people <coughs> are gonna know about it are me and my family because you know we're all in on the joke. I don't know. He crazy though. He crazy. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That's a little much. Them, pl- them, pl- them, them plutonic solids, man. <laughs> the plutonic solids. I will be okay when I get my star on Tuesday. I will be showing you how gravity is more of a concept and not a real thing. I am gonna draw on the planet of Pluto, Mercury, Uranus, my anus, and the whole Milky Way galaxy. <laughs> And I will levitate <laughs> across Hollywood Boulevard in traffic. Come on, Terrence. Terrence, I think we need, I think we need to check on Terrence. I think somebody need to go to his house and check on him on a daily basis just to make sure For real, right? that he is on the up and up. And if not, they need to send him to whatever that you know whatever that rehab facility is that people like to go to. The you know the the, the rich people go to. Wherever they checked in Britney Spears at, they need to put Terrence there. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened, Jay. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I'm sure they have, I'm sure the reporters didn't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's funny that Terrence has this whole crazy thing, and then and then the reporters like, now that's a huge statement. What do you plan to do with that? Because he didn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, I don't. Man. Even the even the lady, she she tried to change the subject to do something else, and Terrence was like, "No, no, no. I will be getting my star, but you also gonna see these verbs getting conjugated when I pull out the flower of life." <laughs> Come on, man. I don't even know. I don't know, Jay. I am lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm and lost. Curves and waves and waves are not in a straight line. Yeah, yeah. You know, why am I gonna continue to what walk is on a straight line? Tips. What? Whoop did what? What? <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> we used to say it back in the day. Like, come on, man. Uh, Terrence, Ter- you know, Terrence, he, um, he, uh, I- I'm pretty sure he was on some controlled substance <laughs> or something. That That can't be, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. We don't know. That was a whole different thing. I'm happy. I'm happy what they did in that situation. They said that they put they put the words at the bottom of the screen so we could try to understand. Understand <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <laughs> oh man, that was great. Because I was following along, I was like, "All right, where are these words at? Where is it?" And then they started to put the words as he's talking, and I was reading them. I was like, "What are you talking about?" I am lost. I'm so lost. So. Oh man. Man. Wow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll. See. That's good. I'm gonna have to watch that yeah, again. Yeah. What we need to watch is we need to watch uh, when he gets his Walk of Fame star. That's the real thing. Yeah. The, the speech he gonna <laughs> let's, make. Let's see the speech he makes and let's see him try to levitate or whatever he's talking about. You know. What oh I'm man, I see you got a 52 minute speech. <laughs> oh my. Uh, a full. Q and A at Oxford Union. Okay. Wow. Okay. I don't even. I, 
I'm not sure I want to listen to this whole thing, but uh, hmm. it should be interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. You may be... There's a bunch of young people and old people, so you about to teach, teach everybody about the platonic solids. Yeah, and walking on water for tips. Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> just, that is just... That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, mm-hmm. wow. All right, well, um, so... Hmm. People, what do y'all think? The pe- what do y'all people say out there? What say the people? Uh, and also, what say the people about this? Walmart is launching a grocery delivery service, right? They're going to come inside of your house and restock your refrigerator and pantry. I don't believe it. Dog, that's what they're doing. They're taking, they're taking ordering online the extra mile. We're coming into your house. And we will restock your kitchen. We'll, we'll restock it, bro. We'll put it away for you. You know, they 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 can't even oh, get people to f- fill out all them empty registers. Mm-hmm. How they gonna get all them? How they gonna get all them people to come to somebody's yeah. house and start filling out? It it have to be like some it have to be like some stipulations like this person's handicap or something like that. Oh yeah, because I know okay. somebody like me, healthy. I call and say, "Hey, I need my refrigerator restocked." Lazy. People lazy. That's what it is, man. Come this on, this the God. thing. You remember? You remember that? Wasn't that that movie Wally? That scene in Wally where the dude is riding around on like a razor, like a little like rascal scooter. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. fat because Everybody he's fat was. and lazy. That yeah, all of them were. Walmart is that's what we turned. Walmart into. is riding that wave of the fact that everybody wants everything super convenient. Gonna order online, let it mm-hmm. get delivered to my home. Just like you know, you can go on Amazon today. You can order something. It should it in in a lot of places around the country. They will deliver it to your house that same day, or they'll deliver it to a nearby like locker that you can go to and get you know pick up your products right. Walmart is Walmart is cashing in on this, you know, lazy society. Or the other thing, you can order Walmart, you can order uh, Kroger, you can order, you know, a lot of different stores. Order online. Go to the store to this this, you know, specified location that's set up for it and just like check in on your phone. You ain't got to get out your car. Target does it now too. Check in on your phone. A store associate will come out Bring the bags to your car. Come on, G. Come on. What in the heck is going on? I think you know? Walmart actually has that. Look at that here. There's something like that here at one of the Walmarts. Yeah. But I mean, it's I just grocery pickup. It? Parked in that section. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't ever see anybody. It's out like a there. little orange section. Well, you know, some. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, there's a Walmart near you that's sort of the hood. I don't think I'd. I don't think I'd be sitting there. You know, yeah. I, I wouldn't. Tr- I wouldn't trust. I wouldn't trust my stuff getting from the door with a store store associate to my car without somebody stro- rolling up on them and taking your stuff. That's just one of the WalMarts by you. The rest of them are okay. <laughs> just playing. But nah. Um, yeah, true. 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 I, I just gotta say, man, I think that's crazy. I would not want a Walmart employee in my house. You know, because nah, what if a situation nah. where they get there and my wife and kids are there and I'm not there and it's like a creepy dude. There was there was one time where where um where somebody like this these two guys or three guys whatever two guys came to uh, clean our HVAC system. Um, it was not long after we moved into the home, you know, sort of like a like a spring tune up. And my wife called me at work. It was like two o'clock, something like that. She was like, "Hey, I think I I think you need to come home." Um, because when I got home, you know, she brought me like, you know, I, I came home and you know those guys are they're, they're working. You know, to me it just seemed like they were working or whatever. But um, after they left, she was like, "Yeah, they were sort of sketchy. Like, I don't know. They were just they were just being too friendly, you know. And like, she was there with the kids, you know. So hey, I don't want a Walmart worker showing up like that, you know. Yeah, I don't. They could probably be scoping out your place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let their homies know exactly <clears throat> what they got in. They got a big 50, 50 some inch TV. Exactly. Chilling. Got their new PlayStation Five. Mm-hmm. So, yep, yep, yeah, yep. can't trust these fools. Cannot trust these fools. <sighs> that's yeah, true. that's weird. Anyway, all right, hey, um, there's something that we haven't done in a minute. Uh, it's voicemails. 
voicemails. Yes. Oh my gosh. How many voicemails do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Really? Dang. Six. Uh, is this one? Hold on. Yeah, we got six voicemails. Interesting. All right, let's get to it. Okay. So uh, tell the people where they can leave a voicemail while I get this loaded up. <clears throat> All right, people. 3853BLAKPC or 385-325-2572. Call us and you could tell us what you do, what you did, how you feel <laughs> about those uh, platonic solids and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, all your other things going on in your life. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. Just call us and chitty chat with us. Yes, indeed. Here we go. So, first voicemail. I just want to view it. I don't want to download it, darn it. Okay. Oh, okay. That, that was it. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, thanks for nothing, whoever that was. Here we go. Next one. Hashtag blackout. Oh, me. Your cousin Caleb. Mr. Steve and I and I. I know y'all think I've been missing an accent. But there comes a time in your life where you got to take care of to help your parents. So that's what I've been doing. You know, we're trying to get my dad to walk and all that good stuff. And my mama pimping us. But anyway, they doing fine. is a new listener now so hey uh, hopefully he is sorry yeah, thank you sorry that you got in trouble with your man friend um yeah man we we uh, we just know each other across the miles she's just our cousin that's it man that's it that's it that's you it know, come through leave a message too that's it. you know we, we'd uh, we'd love to hear from you so <laughs> that's funny though you know like who been up in this house who you had up in here <laughs> never know mm-hmm. never know Kayla it's just just the hashtag blackout boys <laughs> yeah. just our hats just, just our hats. hats that's it not just physical bodies just know. the hats oh man that's great here we go next up 3 2 1 
tried to knock you over the rail. Um, mm. Your mama ain't shit. Your daddy ain't shit. <laughs> your uncle ain't shit. And they want you to go to college. Well, how can you? You, you, you have to kill your sister. with you Kayla I think Tariq will kill Tommy that's it I I honestly can't say I know who will kill who because I haven't watched Power in such a long time I need to pick up Yeah, I see it's coming I see Hulu has every episode plus Stars is playing every episode or yeah they're playing the newer newer edition but I think this is the last season if I'm not yeah I Speaking. I have not watched it either. I was just Thanks saying Lassie. that. <laughs> I've never seen it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I need to, I definitely need to get, I want to catch up on it. I want to catch up on it. I definitely yeah. want to see it. Uh, there's just so much stuff. Like we're far behind on everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we're playing, we're trying to play catch up with a lot of things. So, yeah. but yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to uh, dive into the power. But, mm, Somebody got to die. I don't know who it's going to be. I don't know. Don't know. We I, I don't know either. They will all die. <laughs> yeah. Now, as far as the motorcycle thing, I, I, mm-hmm. that's crazy because we always have some motorcycle uh, accidents and stuff here. I just passed up a, a bike that was like pretty much smashed to pieces on the side of the road. I don't know if the driver... Uh, lived or not mm-hmm. but you know saw that smashed up on the side of the road my best friend he this is some years ago this he flew uh, he hit like an embankment and flew like to the other side of the embankment into wow. oncoming traffic and luckily luckily people stopped he like broke his leg has messed mm-hmm. up his rib broke ribs collarbone arms so Luckily, thankfully, he was he's good. You know, he's like a true to life rider. His dad rides, his sister rides, his cousins are in stunt bike team. So he's been riding for like his whole life. And, you know, first thing he did when he got well, rebuilt his bike, got back on it, huh? got back on and started riding. Yeah. Yeah. But nowadays, you know, he slowed down. He's he's bicycle riding more now <laughs> than, than motorcycle riding. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, hear about those those bike accidents. It's uh, it's sad. It definitely is a sad thing, man. You know, and I think uh, shout, oh, you know what? Shout out to the uh, Starting Five Podcast. Uh, they've been doing a giveaway <laughs> the past couple of episodes of some hooks, rubs, and spices, uh, and mm-hmm. been able That's to interact. Right. That's right. Been able to interact with at least one of the one of the winners. Um, give them some recipes. So yeah, but uh, Mayor Dan on there, uh, I guess a couple of weeks ago, was just saying, you know. Bike riders out there, you know, I guess for all the four wheel drivers, four wheel vehicle drivers out there, um, you know, watch out for the motorcycles, uh, you know, try to give them, you know, try to give them some leeway when they're trying to pass or they're around you, etc. You know, um, just because they are not protected, you know, they are they're just it's just a person on a motorcycle. I mean, I, I remember this this. <laughs> This brings me back to like memories when I was a little kid, and even my son has one of these a little toy motorcycle that you can rev up and you know just sort of shoot uh, and ride anywhere. And the and the the driver, you know, the rider always flies off. Um, I used to love that, you know, that playing that playing with that when I was a kid. But like in real real life, you know, like you said, you know, your fr- your friend, you know, went from one side to the other side of the freeway and embankment, whatever, and and um, thankfully wasn't hit by oncoming traffic, but still, you know, was injured. Because when they get in an accident, they can potentially, you know, fly off their bike, and there's nothing to protect them, you know, but the clothes yeah. on their body, um, essentially. Uh, so yeah, so it's it's really sad always. I think to, you know, lose family, lose friends, um, you know, in those situations, um, it's just terrible. It's horrible, you know, horrible hearing that. 
Um, you know, and just, just you be safe out there, Memphis Diva, and, and everybody else that's riding out there. You know, be safe. I have some I have some friends up here who ride, and you know, um, they just tell they've told me stories. You know, of all kinds of crazy stuff going down on the road, especially with people with road rage. Um, in in Texas, is it legal for biker for motorcyclists to like split lanes? Can they do that? Or is it not legal? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. It's, it's not legal. But they do. Yeah, it they all do it all the time. time. But no. see, here in, in Salt Lake, it's legal now. Um, it's legal now for them to do that. Is so wow. yeah, so you know, it always startles me because most of the time it happens um, not normally in traffic. I'm sitting at uh, a stoplight. And, you know, sitting at a stoplight may have been in traffic, but just sitting at a stoplight. Next thing you know, a motorcyclist, you know, rolls up between the cars and just slides right past us. Uh, or, you know, just comes to the front. And then when the light turns green, you know, they normally go out ahead of everybody. And we have to give them, lead, you know, we have to give them right away in that situation just because, you know, they, you know, it's that they're protected by that split lane law. Uh, but it startles me. And, and one place where it was really scary and, and here in Salt Lake area, well, we have like, what, 300, 400,000 people somewhere in that range. Um, it's smaller than Fort Worth. Uh, but when it scared me was when I was driving in California last year, in L.A. last year. Uh, I was, um, let's see here. I was driving to L.A. last year and in traffic, you know, and how crazy it is driving there. There's cars. Or, or, you know, there's motorcyclists cutting through traffic. And this is crazy bumper to bumper, you know, traffic on, you know, seven lane highway, you know, whatever. And motorcycles just flying past everybody, you know, while you're stopped in traffic. Now, sometimes if I'm in traffic and I see an opening in a lane next to me, I'll throw on my signal and hop over there if I can. In a place like right. that, if you do that, you know, that could potentially be a motorcyclist T-boning you. And then who's at fault? I don't know. Maybe you're at fault because you're the you're the driver in the bigger car. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely sort of scary, man. So yeah, be safe out there in them streets. You know, especially with road ragers and all that. It's, it's crazy, crazy. All right, let's see here. Next up, here we go. Three, two, one. Getting rid of, getting rid of uh, Directv and Direct sticking with TV. the fire stick. Do it, do it. Yeah, I got. I cut the cord a long time ago. Cut the cord, and I've been so happy. Cut the cord. Uh, yep. I have I Sling it. TV, and I like it. So, yeah, I have Sling, Hulu, Netflix, mm-hmm. and then if you get a Roku, yeah. You, uh, it automatically like comes with like crackle and uh what is it called to uh, to be you say cracker it's, it's another cracker? crackle yeah cracker cracker TV <laughs> where you can watch master is crackle master on there is master a star of a show he possibly is <laughs> possibly is oh yeah I know possibly you said crackle is. <laughs> the crackle. yeah but 
Yeah, you should you should definitely do that. Get get rid of direct TV. Yeah. yeah. This is the thing, man. I I need my sports center or ESPN, you know, just to watch some sports. So that's why I got mm-hmm. the sling because it's like five dollars a month. And yeah, I can watch a bunch of different cable shows, you know, like the Comedy Centrals and TBS, you know, uh, History Channel, you know, HDV TV, those things like that. And then also it has mm-hmm. ESPN, all of their family networks. Uh, and then if you pay, you know, I guess a little bit more of a fee, you could get the local channels as well. So, so, um, yeah, Let's see, here's a trick mm-hmm. for that yeah. local channels, go and buy yourself a. Antenna. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, fi- I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's what I have. I'm, I'm down with that. They they have another they have another service that's uh that I guess you can upgrade that service and get um get uh you know I guess more programming you know that you would get and it's still better than the dish situation you know what I'm saying but I have that through yeah. my Roku you know so I got my Roku with all those Netflixes and Hulu's etc uh, and yeah. You know, so it it works out, man. But yeah, I think that's a good idea. Now, this day and age, you know, the, I think the cable providers providers are getting scared uh, because they they know that there's so many different options for people out there. Um, you know, they're not the only thing out there anymore, or or satellite providers, whatever. So yeah, yeah. And I think Directv actually is doing that now, where they're doing the whole streaming mm-hmm. streaming services type deal. Yeah. So, yeah, they are. They are. So instead of satellite, yeah, they're going more. I guess that internet-based yeah. streaming services. Yeah. So it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing. Yeah. Cable is a curse. Cut it off. Cut. Cut it off. The string. All right, here we go. Next up, three, two, one. Pride festivals here, you know. I, yeah, I never. We definitely have them here in the Dallas area. Never been to one. Uh, you know, I have friends who've gone to them before. So, I don't know, I don't know. Mm-hmm. but yeah, I'm sure you had to be a little. She probably was a little intimidated, you know, in the car with those three women. Maybe especially because the one, you know, sounded like Batman apparently, and was asking, you know, all those prying questions. Are you scared of us? Uh, mm-hmm. And and maybe yeah, maybe he's not scared of you know white people, but scared of you know them. Uh, because of their uh, yeah. uh, 
sexual preference. So, yeah. So, um, I don't know, man. Uh, it's sort of. Bro, I'm going to tell you who I am scared of. Who's that? I, I go to Walmart a lot. So, mm-hmm. I see these these ladies looking like dudes. Yeah. Tattooed up, man. And they be looking hard. You know what I mean? Young M.A.? <laughs> they be looking like harder than that man I mean they look rough they look rough and tough I don't even I, I, it make me want to step on the other side of the yeah. street other side of the aisle when I see them I don't even want to look them in the eye uh, I mean I, I ain't got no problem with like you know gay or lesbian folks mm-hmm. anything like mm-hmm. that uh, absolutely none but it's just when dealing with Women that's as rough and tough looking like that. I'm just like, damn, man. Do they look scared. at you like? Do they look at you Definitely like they're scared. about to bow up or something? Yeah. Oh, exactly. Yeah, no. Ain't nobody no got no time for that. No, they walk through Walmart, pants with with basketball shorts on, sagging, mm-hmm. and a wife beat it. Oh, come on, man. Hair, hair in a hair in a hair in a little tiny bun. No. Not not the bun. Durag? Yeah, braids on. Oh, braids. Braids and like little dreadlocks mm-hmm. and. Yeah, man. Nah. What you need to do is you need to go and get you the flower of life and conjugate some verbs already, and then you won't be scared. Yeah, maybe so. You know when you when you channel that, that's true. When you start to, to channel Mercury, and uh, and Uranus, and the and the red eye of Jupiter, dog. All them, all them straight wavy lines. All them wavy straight lines are gonna be straight and wavy. Yeah, and then it'll change into a platonic, platonic normal. <laughs> is, that, is that what you think? Yes. You know, then you'll be able to see, you know, what Slostradamus, what Nost- Nostradamus was talking about. Slostradamus. <laughs> oh, Slostradamus is a dude. Is one of my homeboys over here on Instagram. Look up Slostradamus barbecue. Sloth. Plus Nostradamus, Nostradamus, dude cooks a lot of good food. Good dude. Oh, I'm gonna check. Yeah, yeah. Sloth Stradamus. I've I've worn his hat. Sloth, like the sloth. I seen. Sloth. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, dude does some good. I thought you was talking about sloth, like cold. no sloth. No, that would be interesting though. There was a dude named Sloth Stradamus, and he's out out there eating coleslaw and making and he made like the best coleslaw ever. Mm-hmm. Making predictions about the future while eating coleslaw. Like today it will rain. Man, it's already raining. I told you. Alright, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, okay. Oh man, this Tito's and Dr. Pepper is really good right now. Alright, here we go. Not bad. Next up. Three, two, one. Teach him about the drugs. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? 
apparently we have been missing out with power. Yeah, that's what I hear, man. I hear it's the the show, the premiere. What was the other show they was comparing this to? Uh, uh, everybody, I think they're on the same time. Uh, crap, I can't remember. Uh, what's the show Terrence Howe was on? Empire. Yeah. Empire. I know they're two completely different shows, but <clears throat> I think uh, you know people are trying to to like put them up against each other as far as like watch watchability. Yeah, yeah. And I think power like like pretty much just blew it out the water because apparently power is that powerful. <laughs> yeah, no pun intended. Yeah, pun it, intended. It, it, if I was a writer, um, what I would have, the, the way to end the show, I would have them all at the club, right? Because it's about a nightclub, right? Mm-hmm. Nightclub owner. I'd have them all at the club, chilling and, you know, chilling and stuff. And and uh, I would have whoever the villain is show up and try to shoot the club up. With the main character's wife. You know what I'm saying? Shoot the club up, you know? Not shoot the club up, uh, but shoot the club uh, up. Skeet, 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 skeet. So, gotcha. Gotcha. then, this is, this is good. then what would happen is the main character would be so mad that he would, li- he would literally shoot the club up. And it would end literally. with the cops showing up arresting him him going to trial but then a video surfacing it's a body cam video from a bouncer in the club that witnessed the villain shooting up the club with the wife and then the Mm. main character would be exonerated and would get to go live in the happy paradise that 6ix9ine is living in because he doesn't think anybody could touch him that would be it. It'd be end. It would end. That's it. That's it. That's the show. That sounds pretty good. You need to, uh, dang, do a spinoff. <laughs> it's like, was the, there's a YouTube channel called How This How It Should Have Ended. Yep. How This Really Should Have yep. Ended. I think you should do that. So once the last episode comes about, you need to redo it. Yeah, yeah. Put it on YouTube. You know. Maybe we could do that. I could do a whole, like, I could do a whole different show. You know what I'm saying? Um, instead of Power, or, I mean, it, it would be it would be the spinoff. It would be the spinoff show. So, instead of Power, it would be uh, uh, called... The Platonic Normals. Grip. I just call it Grip. Called the Plutonic Grip. <laughs> I don't know. Plutonic Solids. Plutonic That's what it's solids. Called. Call it the Plutonic Solids. Starting. What was that calling the Plutonic Normals? That sound about normal Plutonic anyway. So. Plutonic Solids, Plutonic Normals. And it will be starring Terrence Howard, who he who has just come back from his vacation away from acting. From. From landing from the planet Uranus. Landing back on his Hollywood Star Walk of Fame from the planet Uranus. With no gravity. Huh? No gravity. Yeah, yeah. No gra- no gravity up there. Because he would be floating. Because there's no force in gravity. He would just show up. He won't land. He will hover inches above mm-hmm. his Walk of Fame star. And throughout the show, he will be hovering. He'll be the first hovering <laughs> actor that's legitimately hovering with no wires, David Copperfield. No wires. You know? Right as he passes you pretty fast, all you hear is man. Man. Plutonic. <laughs> man. 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 Oh, man. That's, Come here, man. that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. That's crazy. Oh, man. And his name on the show will be Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Willie. 
<laughs> yeah, his boss's name will be Matt. Oh. <laughs> right. oh, yes. Here we go. So what, what what else did you write down this past couple weeks? Uh man, I, I got something else, but uh, we could probably save it for another show because it could probably get into a long, long talk. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Well, what do you got? Got uh, anything? Let's see here. Um. So there's something that we talked about earlier in the show. Um. Well, we sort of alluded to it. We'll say that we, we didn't specifically talk about it. Uh, we alluded to. You know, my dog being in the old folks home, uh, not being able to puff, puff, puff because he was fixed. You know, puff, right. puff, you know, Johnson baby powder, you know what I'm saying? Instead of skeet, skeet. So uh, Johnson and Johnson has recalled 33,000 bottles of baby powder. 33,000. 33,000. A baby powder um, because federal regulators found a small amount of asbestos in a bottle that was purchased online. Think about that. Think about that. How many of those 33,000 bottles, maybe more, that were potentially tainted with asbestos are sitting in someone's baby room right now at their house? Or in Bruh. their, you know, cabinet. Or in their, you know, in their, their vanity. You know what I'm saying? How many, man? That's scary. It's so that, very scary. That is scary. I can remember when my, my son uh, kind of disappeared for like two minutes. Yeah. Next thing you know, there's like little white footprints all over the house. <laughs> you go in the back room and there's like baby powder all over the room. Mm. He's covered in baby powder yeah. everywhere. That's hilarious. Seriously. That's so funny. Um, yeah, man, that's that's really scary. Uh, you know, it can cause a lot of different health problems. Um, you know, cancers, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, so very scary uh, situation there. And hopefully, you know, nobody is nobody was actually harmed or affected. But, um, yeah, yeah. That's uh, you know, that's another another lawsuit that Johnson Johnson could be facing if you know it's found that you know their baby powder affected people because they already have a eight billion dollar eight million eight million dollar lawsuit. Uh, uh, you know that they have to pay a man or maybe pay a man who claims that one of the company's drugs he took uh, as a child caused him to grow breasts. So you know, it's See, out there. It's out there. Right. Johnson and Johnson baby powder and cool water cologne. Hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Okay, I got a question. I got a question. Okay, I got, I got a question. I got a question. So Chipotle, Chipotle, one of your favorite <laughs> restaurants, right? Um, it's okay. That that's your favorite place. That's 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 the place that I. That's like one of the first places I took you when you moved to town. And yeah, that was the first place you it, took me. And you told me that was your favorite place ever. And it better still be. No, I'm just playing. Uh, anyway, no, Chipotle. <laughs> we, we love Chipotle, right? So, is this racist or not? Or is it just, it's just the way it's supposed to be? So, tell me this. Earlier, uh, I saw a Chipotle commercial come on TV. And, uh, you know, they were talking about now that they have carne asada. But, the guy in the mm-hmm. commercial, the actor who was the star of the commercial was Latino man which is perfectly fine in my mind do you think do you think okay so do you think it's racist if they had a white dude or a black dude or an Asian dude as that as that commercial star saying carne asada as a spokesperson yeah as the spokesperson saying carne asada with a Mexican accent or is that not racist is that just fine in this day and age, <laughs> I, I think I think people would have something to say if it was another race saying it, like a, a, a like a, a Latin person, Hispanic person. 
I think people in this society would have something to say because of because of that. <laughs> just just like if you just like if you put a, a a white person as the the black lady in Popeyes, <laughs> <laughs> is she talking the same way? Mm, child, <laughs> child, let her chicken for Popeye. Um, no, but yeah, instead of being instead of you know, in, instead of it being now at Chipotle we have carne asada. Instead of that from a Latin person, it would be maybe a black person saying, yo, now at Chipotle, we have carne asada. <laughs> nah, that, that still wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't work. It, it, would not, it wouldn't fly. It would be hilarious. And yeah, what would also be hilarious is the Twitter backlash that they would get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody would drag them. Man. Yeah, Twitter mm. would have a field day. So, yeah, I, you know, I uh, just want to know what you thought. You know? Yeah, no, no, wouldn't work. Because now all I see is the, the white lady. Come on, man! Like it's the same thing. Like I was saying with the white lady at Popeyes. Can you imagine an Asian lady doing that? Oh man. Oh no, 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 no! I can't. I, I can, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. Oh, I love everybody, and that's true. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. I just I just had to ask that question. I just I saw something that said Chipotle's flash past my screen, so I had to ask the question. Alright, cool. Well, hey, um if there's nothing else, let's uh go ahead and tap these love boxes. So let's tap them. Do that time JQ's that careless whisper. It's George Michael. Sings it so good. And we reach over you know, tap that little box. Give it a little click. A little double tap. A little double tap. Double tap your mouse, baby. Click it. Click it or tick it. Alright. So, if you... If you... Um, would also not want a Walmart employee showing up at your house with your groceries and stocking up your refrigerator, tap your little box. I'm not about to add it. If you actually know what the platonic solids are that Terrence Howard is talking about, mm. tap your love box. Yes. Yes, yes. If you uh, would brag on social media about biting your boyfriend's finger off because you was in a fight with him, tap your love box. Connecticut woman arrested after bragging about biting her boyfriend's finger off on social media. Think before you tweet. Think before you tweet. And also think before you bite off somebody's finger, because that's pretty disgusting. (laughs) Yeah, this is it. Uh Wow. Uh Happy love box. If you want to be a guest on the next episode of the hashtag Blackout Podcast, Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Yes. that's good because we we like some guests. Yeah, we like a guest. You know, I, I'll tell you this: we have been invited uh, onto the Starting Five podcast show, um, but they mm-hmm. record during the week. That's right. We have. Uh, they, we've been invited uh, a couple times. They record during the week, like on like I don't know Wednesdays or something like that. Uh, hmm. And I think the time that they record is probably like six your time, five my time. So it's not convenient. But if we were able yeah. to get, if we I were able to get them, yeah, that. right. If we were able to get them to record another day, I'd be happy to go on their show. We'd be happy to have them on our show, which we've told them before too. So yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, definitely, yeah. I actually started putting like a together like a little email I was gonna send out to somebody, see if they wanted to get on our show. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, 
I'll probably send that out tomorrow or something. Yeah, definitely. We'll see. Definitely put it together. Awesome. If you're in last place in your fantasy football league, gladly tap your love box. Because I'm tapping right now. Wow, that did not Dead like last. a happy thing. I really don't care either, man. I really don't care. Yeah. At this point in time. And I'm the commissioner, so it's like a. It's kind of like set in stone. Every commissioner has to be dead last. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the way it it works. Okay, this is sort of weird. Tap your love box if you want to move to Squeak. Whoa. Squeak? Tap your love box. Yeah. Tap your love box if you want to move to Sweden and get microchipped. Because now. Sweden has begun to microchip people where they have and they have access to their ID. I guess the residents, whatever, have access to their ID, their online, you know, wallet and their keys. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you have like sort of like a push start car or something like that. So, yeah, uh, tap your love box if you want to be one of those people who get microchipped. This is from the show. uh, What show is that? Um. What's that show on Netflix? Uh, that uh, uh, Black, uh, Black Black Mirror. Mirror. I think there was an episode of Black Mirror that was similar to that, where people were micro. They had like some kind of like, it looked like a grain of rice or something like that. It was like a microchip in their skin, uh, and you know they had access to all their thoughts and memories and also you know all kinds of other things. Yeah, man, nah, I'm good. I, I'm I'm good. I'm not going to Sweden ever. Isn't that where Travis Scott was in, in jail for a while? Sweet. Uh, not Travis Scott. Um, not Travis Scott. A- ASAP. ASAP. Yeah. ASAP Rocky. No, yeah, ASAP Rocky. Uh, was it Sweden? Somewhere over there. Yeah, somewhere in that, that area. A place where there's not a lot of black people. Let's just say that. Yeah. The only black people there are visiting, or performing, or playing sports for a team. I think there's like a couple of actually black athletes, but most of the rest of them are not. So, yeah, man. Um, no, nah, I'm not about that life. I'm good. No, definitely not. Definitely not. If you're, uh, if you're watching, watching Big Mouth and feeling some type of way by watching it, feeling very uncomfortable, tap your love yeah. box. Tap your love box. Okay, so tap your little box if you think this is weird. So a Tokyo man is arrested for stalking one of their pop stars by using the reflections in her pupils to track her down. Is that not one of the weirdest things you've ever heard? Also, tap your little box if you think Willie is one of the blackest black boy names you ever heard. That's an old black man. That's an old black man name. How did they come up with that? Really? The old black man that fixed your car in his front yard. Yes. On the grass. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Mr. Willie. He is, is Mr. Willie. You know, he drive an old Chevy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He always, he also always had like some extra change in his pocket. Never knew what he did. It, it just always seemed about, about the same amount of change because it always jingled the same way. Always had on a dirty blue mechanic suit. Chewed tobacco, red man only. You know? He, uh... And he always spit in the same spittoon that seemed like it was overflowing. <laughs> it was <laughs> you, spittoon. You always wanted Willie to dump the spittoon. But he called it a spittoon, but in actuality, it was a Folgers Crystals coffee can. Yeah. Where his grandkids accidentally threw a sock inside of it. Yes, you remember that. Yeah. Oh man, if y'all don't, if y'all don't know, back when we were kids, uh, I was visiting uh, our grandparents in Louisiana, and uh, Jay was over there too, obviously. And and uh, I just remember, maybe my grandmother said to take take my socks off, you know, whatever. Maybe my mom did. I can't remember, but I remember taking my socks off and throwing them and I thought I was cool I was just gonna like throw them in the corner or whatever so I could get them later 
I threw I threw them in one of the socks landed <laughs> in a Folgers coffee empty Folgers coffee can. So I was like, oh cool, I made a basket. So I reached over in the can and pulled out my sock. <laughs> you made a basket, all right? <laughs> it was soaking with spit from tobacco. Oh, oh, that was so disgusting. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm well. I guess I got a black mama, so she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have thrown my sock away. She just threw it in the washer. But mm-hmm. there's mamas these days who would throw that sock right in the trash. Wouldn't even want to deal with it. Right in the trash. So, so nah. <laughs> oh man, those those were the days. Anyway, yeah, Mr. Willie. All right. All right, I'm out. Is that it? That's it for me, bro. All right. Wow. All right, people. You know, you uh, before before we go, I know that we didn't get to talk about this uh, just because maybe this is the situation you were talking about um, that, um, you know, that may have spawned into something longer. But uh, I just want to, you know, we just want to say, um, you know, give our condolences to the family and friends of at the Tanya, at the Tiana Jack Jefferson, at Tiana, at Tiana yeah. Jefferson. I cannot pronounce yeah, I, it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, down in Fort Worth. Yeah. Um, you know, who was mm-hmm. killed sitting in her home, just playing with, you know, playing with the family member. She was shot and killed senselessly by a policeman right. who didn't even, um, announce who didn't even himself. announce himself. Yeah. You know, didn't even give her time to react uh, uh, and put her hands up or whatever. Um, you know, and. And as we've said before, we have family and friends, you know, close family and friends, you know, who are who are policemen. Um, and, you know, so we definitely respect that. Uh, but this situation is definitely a sense, senseless situation. The cop did not even did not even take everything into consideration, just did something no. extremely stupid. Um, and hopefully he'll get arrested yeah. and prosecuted and, you know, go to jail for a long time for it. So. Yeah, not no ten years. Yeah, not but, not just ten years. So yeah, we'll see. The crazy thing is that that actually happened like not too far from my kid's school. Oh, really? So yeah, right in the same little area. Wow, that's crazy. That's very crazy. sad. Um, you know, this is the thing, man. There's there's a lot of lot of really good cops out there. There's a lot of really good people out there that work in that field. Um, and then there's some bad apples, you know. I, I don't know what this code is. You know, I know that in sports, you know, each team has a code that they sort of stand by to protect their own, quote unquote. But man, you know, it, you know in your heart of hearts who is and who isn't a bad apple if you've ever recognized anything that they've done. So is it okay to let this bad apple continue to do their job knowing that they... You know, knowing that they are not in it for the right reasons, know that they are not following the 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 uh, what is it the uh, the oath that they took to protect and serve. You know what I'm saying? Man. I don't. I don't think so, man. Yeah, I know it's a hard situation because some of these people <coughs> may be friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I have I have a couple of close yeah. close friends. You know that that are officers there. We have family members that are officers. Uh, you know, currently. Um, you know, currently, and and it's just, I don't know, man, it's, it's just really sad when you have a situation like this, where clearly this person wasn't doing anything, clearly not armed. This girl, this girl, you know, seemed extremely bright, was in college, um, you know, and, and, or maybe had just gotten her degree, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, it's just, I don't know, man, it's just, it's just tough to hear something like that. So, so. Yeah, so we definitely want to send our condolences out to them. Um, you know, hope justice is served. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but in this day and age, unfortunately, not holding our breath. But I will say that the case against the other officer in Dallas that was just, uh, you know, finished being adjudicated, whatever, um, may be a step in the right direction. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Definitely yeah. see. So anyway, right. sorry about ending the show on that note, but go ahead and tell the no, people where yeah. they can find us. Well, yeah, people find us Twitter, Instagram, H Take Blackout Pod, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, SoundCloud, Anchor, Spreaker, YouTube, all those places. 
Yeah. Hashtag Black Out Pod, gmail.com. You could email us stuff. Uh, or you could just give us a phone call. Mm-hmm. 3853-B-L-A-K-P-C. 3853252572. Go get you some Hooks rubs and spiz ice. Get them. Sprinkle them all over everything. It's uh, got a bunch of new flavors. Cool, pretty cool new label. And uh, yeah, you can put it over all your different. They got a flavor for any type of food you want. All your meats and other so, things. All your meats. All your meats. All your veggies. Your all boyfriend, your, your girlfriend. Seafood. Sprinkle it over there. Sprinkle it over your life. So, and just. Yeah, so why are you talking about that? I got to say something. So, why are you talking about that? So, Hooks, Rubs, and Spices, mm-hmm. if you want to check out anything, if you want to check out any recipes or any recent posts or any uh, partner deals that are coming up from some of the partners that Hooks, Rubs, and Spices uh, is connected with, go to HooksRub.com, H-O-O-K-S-R-U-B.com. Or if you want some information on where you can find some Hooks Rub, or if you want to tell your local grocery store or barbecue specialty shop, hey, you need some Hooks Rub in your life. Why don't you guys sell Hooks Rub? So call this fella. You can call Hooks Rub at 385 Brisket. You need me to repeat that? I can. 385 Brisket. For all the people who do not know how to translate letters to numbers, <laughs> that is 385 274 Brisket. 7538 375 brisket. Boom. Sweet. Yeah, I'm 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 trying to spread the rings went the wings of the hooks, rubs, and spices here locally, and, and it's actually going pretty well. And then uh, I've been uh, trying to reach out to um to a couple of locations uh, out of the state uh, that are some barbecue specialty shops. And there's a couple big mini announcements. One well, one is a potential announcement. I'm trying to work with a local uh, local farm here uh, to sell through them. A couple local farms here to sell through them and maybe even be like a meat sponsor or whatever. But uh, two, uh, Hooks, Rubs, and Spices uh, has partnered up with this company called Redmond Real Salt. Uh, you guys might have seen it in your stores because they're, they're uh, I know they're, they're national, but it's a company here that mines salt uh, from a ancient salt mine. Uh, it's probably near where um you know terrence howard uh, uh sort of got his thought process from the prehistoric paleolithic <laughs> era uh, but no they, they they mine salt it is actual real ancient salt uh and we use that in all of our seasonings redmond real salt so uh it's a great partnership um and yeah I'm, I'm excited to announce that officially here first so yeah but check out that hooks road though. check out that hooks road anyway Dope. All I got. All right. Well, there you go, people. Episode 140 in the bag. We're going to hop out, examine the moon for some platonic solids. Mm -hmm. Make sure our curve is in a straight line. Just going to get those wavy lines, make them straight. We're going to call on the power of Jupiter. Call on the power of Neptune. Call on the power of Sagittarius. And we will hover. And ball them up and shove them all up your anus. And we will be doing the secret finger jutsu. Ooh. If you guys ever watched Naruto, you would know what the secret finger jutsu is. You don't want that finger. Anyway. <laughs> Alright. I'm not your anus. <laughs> Alright, yeah man, I'm blacking out.